And my father says unto me, do not cry or I'll give you something to cry about. And behold, the tear crawls back into the tear duct unburbed. My cheeks remain dry as a valley of bones. Now, I do not cry. Not when I stub my toe or when I am frustrated or when the name at the end of the hashtag sounds familiar. Like someone I used to know or would have known or could have been. This world is nothing but something to cry about and I see how my father and all his toxic was just trying to prepare me. And my mother says unto me, when we get in this store, you better not touch nothing. My hands already receding. Mama knows as well as anybody that anything in black hands can be a death sentence. BB gun or Arizona or pack of Skittles. The key to survival, I learned later, is to keep your palms open, invisible, and hope to God this is enough to be passed over. And my auntie says unto me, you either inside or outside, but you're not going to be in and outside my house. And so we spend the rest of the day on the front porch, running and yelling and arguing and seeing how close we get to sunset before someone can tell us to get inside. I almost don't notice the way my father scans the street every time he calls us in for dinner. How he counts each of the neighbor's kids to make sure they are still there, still yelling about seeing each other tomorrow.